Okay, time for the next question. And this one comes from Mr. Z or MZ. And he says, hi, Paolo, do they still use testosterone propionate for TRT? And I think testosterone propionate, if I remember correctly, is the really quick acting yeah. one. So what is the story with test propionate? Some of our clients, doctors, patients uh, do like testosterone propionate. They have that in the UK? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay. it, it was originally licensed here. Uh, I think Nordic had, had licensed it and then they stopped making it. So it comes in um, from other European countries uh, into the UK. It's still available. Our pharmacies can get it, you know, and um, some of our clients like, like the testosterone propionate. Some don't mind injecting three, four times a week, um, a small, small amount. So that, that is available. It's a bit cumbersome though. It can be a bit costly because they come in uh, larger ampules. Oh, and you can't, you have to discard the remainers yeah, yeah, for health but reasons. Yeah. We are working. On getting multi dose, no, oh. uh, ampules are more suitable for the dose, so okay, like, like 25 milligram dose ampules um, is a possibility. Um, but I'm not sure by the time we, we put this out, we'll, we'll have it available. But that is something that's, that's an option. So, that as it currently stands, it's, it's harder to do that because you know it's not safe to, to split the ampules, yeah. of, of any kind. It does feel like a bloody waste to, to have to throw out a, a whole mill, milliliter of, of solution because they come in 100 milligrams per two milliliter ampule so, and the yeah. reason why they come in ampules here and the americans don't have them is the mhra the governing body for drugs in europe and the uk in particular they think single use is the best which theoretically in a healthcare setting it is but it's not very user friendly to getting the right doses because the manufacturers don't really make them in the appropriate dose yeah. except for one manufacturer that we're um, we're looking into that will have it in the, in the appropriate dose of about 25 milligrams. And uh, do you find that the propionate is a bit more if, uh, effective in keeping levels more stable because you're doing sort of uh, more frequent injections at, at low amounts or is it like if you have to what's compare stable, it with, with right? so what's stable if you take it or if you inject it one day and then you don't do it for another five days it's in and out is that stable? No, mm. is it, I mean, what is stable? Lots of people ask that question and, and this sort of gets this assumption. That, well, I, I guess yeah. when I say, when I ask the question, I mean, uh, the, the uh, levels of the ups and or the peaks and the troughs aren't as uh, severe. You know, they're more sort of like that rather than like that. Well, again, it depends on, on the duration of how often you dose. Yeah. So if you're dosing more frequently, it goes in quickly, it comes out quickly. You know, it's a very steep area under the curve. Yeah. Um, depending on how long you let it before it drops, it should last about two days, or you would go, you would inject every other day with the lower doses, dosage of, of propionate, and you wouldn't get as high of a, of a peak. And, and the trough, you have to time the trough so that it's not gonna go too low. Yeah. It's like with the creams, the scrotal application of creams. It's going like this every day, yeah. but then so is your own body. True. Your body's giving you a higher bit in the morning, it's coming down a little bit in the afternoon. You don't want it to be too great, yeah. and people sometimes never feel good. We've seen people with high levels, well not high, but like around 20 in the morning, but they might only be 10 in the afternoon or eight in the afternoon, yeah. they feel rubbish. So we don't, we discount the morning um, test and at least uh, by 20%. But the, the ideal, like in a, with a case like test probing, would be to try and get those ups and downs as close to natural as possible, yeah. rather than these large spikes up and down. Yeah, so by, by having a small amount in the beginning, you, you will get a peak even with that. Yeah, you course, will get yeah. a peak even with, with the creams. And then it, before it comes down, you're ready for your next injection the day off, like every other day. Okay. And, and, and that, for some people, that's absolutely fine. And then some people feel subjectively better on it. And so if for someone like this is asking about propionate, you know, if, is it just something that they ask for if they're starting yeah, treatment? Yeah, if they like to try propionate, that's something that we can But they just have get. to be aware but that they have to be aware, one, injections, it's, more injections. it's more frequent injections. Yeah. Two, it's not from a UK supplier. Okay. It, it comes in through a, a different type of wholesale route. It's, it's all coming in through the you know, MHRA approved way, but it can, um, if there is ever a shortage or an issue bringing these in, then it, 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 the medicine might not be there for them all I the see, time. I and see, that's, yeah. there have been disruptions in the supply chain. Yeah. That being said, there's this for all different medications throughout exactly. the UK because the UK supply chain is so poor. Didn't they have that for Sustanon at one time? Even? In 2012, there was yeah. a shortage before the current owners of Sustanon had launched it. There was a shortage for about six weeks. Yes, so, I mean, I've never seen this in, in, to this degree in other countries, but in the UK, for some reason, I think there uh, are cartels Mm -hmm. that, that run the, the supply chain and they, they block the access to the drug. So I, mean, I could be wrong, so, but I, I think that's where we've seen a lot of, for even blood pressure medications, important medications, they're, um, they're very difficult to get. Yeah, we don't want to get into the politics of you know, no. how the pharmaceutical industries and the government bodies all work no, together. No, that's no, a, we'll, no. we'll skip that for another time. Okay, so MZ, I hope that answers your question.